our beast. Change of scenery, me all way. Now considering I said I was going to make no videos for a short while, I ain't doing a very good job of it, am I? <laughs> but this one, it's ain't really about something so I've got to say. It's, um, it's for the benefit of other people. I did those couple over the weekend because that was a public event and I thought that was reporting, worth reporting on. But this is about the meet-up in Milton Keynes. <coughs> Excuse me, I need a drink. Just got in from work. Had a shower. I know the drink yet. I want to get this out of the way. Um, the meet up in Milton Keynes, well, we had one in the Black Country Museum in September, and that's all it is. It's not a proper event that, you know, there's, there's nothing on. We don't speak. I think Tim and Marty might, might well want to. That's something that I don't feel comfortable with. I'm not an orator, I'm not a public speaker. Um, I like going around meeting people. And talking to them, but I am very good at getting up in front of folks and doing that, doing it that way. I'm not a born performer, but Tim went to somewhere in Surrey on Saturday night and he saw um, a talk by Mark Devlin. And you may be aware of Mark Devlin, he's a DJ stroke journalist but he talks about a lot of stuff that's relevant to what's happening in the world today especially because of his background in the music industry and tim got chatting with him and mark devlin has agreed to come to the next meetup which is in milton Keynes. now i'm going to pull all the details in the description box i'm going to upload this during the night tomorrow morning when i get out of bed i'll put the details in a comment as well because I know some people find it difficult to look at the description box so all the details are going to be there now I don't like dropping people in it I like pulling my weight in life um, and in normal circumstances I wouldn't leave all this for Tim to do I'd play my part but just at a minute honestly I'd, 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 I'd be no good at it I'd botch it up I'd get I'd, I'll get it all wrong, so I ain't, I ain't going to have anything to do with it. And that ain't a cop-out, and that ain't being lazy or leaving it to somebody else to do, because I've got to be bothered. That's just a frame of mind I'm in at a minute, and it's just, that's just the way it is. Um, yeah, it's in Milton Keynes on uh, the 4th, Saturday the 4th of March. I'll say it's a pub, um, Tim's rented a pub. Now... I've had it already in comments. You've got people going, Hey, you're mainly doing this year a lot, Sam, so you can make money out of it. Bollocks. I can tell you, Tim ain't making no money out of this. I ain't, neither is Marty. The only people that's making any money out of this, hopefully, is the boozer that's staging it. And I hope they do, because after the last three years, hospitality has took a kick in the knackers, and it needs trade. And if anybody thinks they can do better, right, well, you try renting a pub on the busiest day of the week and putting on catering for about 50 people and then ask them if they'll do it for free. See how you get on with that. It might be a good idea. I can't tell Tim what to do. We have spoke about this, but it might be a good idea to publish finances so people can see. Keep it transparent. But there's uh, £17.50. Tim will be making the uh, getting the payments by bank transfer. It's quite easy to do. There may be money taken at the door, but that should be avoided really. And the reason is there's only spaces for fifty. Now, what happens if hundred people turn up? It's either going to ruin it, and and there's going to be a lot of people disappointed. You see what I mean? So I'll book in advance, and only if you're really desperate um, will the money be accepted on on the door. But bank, tra bank transfer to Tim, all the the the, um, the details will be in the description box. I'll put it in. And this is the pub. Excuse me, throughout raw. And um. 
Yeah, Mark Devlin is going to do a talk. And if you don't know who he is, look him up. He's an interesting bloke. I've never met him. Because I tend to... I wouldn't steer clear of truth of videos. But I don't completely immerse myself in you know, them. I don't leave it. I've only seen a few of the videos, but what I've seen, I, I like. And he talks, he talks a lot of a lot of sense as football, but I can see. Now, um, so that's it. The meet up in Milton Keynes, the beginning of March, Saturday the fourth of March, about eleven o'clock in the morning till four o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. It's just a gathering. Don't expect nothing. There's going to be a, a buffet lunch laid on, and so you'll have something to eat. And being a pub, obviously, you'll be able to get something to drink. Um, and that's it, just meet each other, this is the aim of it, for us, like this, this might be my channel, right, but it's for everybody, for everybody who writes in the comments, y yeah, we're all going through this together, and on Marty's channel, and Tim's, and that's obvious, and it has been pretty much from the start, so this is an opportunity, like the Black Country Museum, for just people, to, they say about me, you say about Tim, and you say about Marty, it might be about Mark Devlin this time, but you know, but it's all about us, it's about you. So come, uh, meet up, and that's all you got to do. Bank transfer, £17.50 to Tim, and turn up. Easy, Job, jobs are good. Um, talking about meetups, then I'm concerned about the, uh, is it the public order bill, and that's kind of like gone through, where Sunak wants to stop the pair of protests of of um i've mentioned this before now ostensibly it, it, it's because it's to stop all them people sitting on the motorway and slashing lorry tires and uh, you know all them kind of people to stop all that um it won't be used for that it'll be used to stop people from speaking out about about the government and i honestly think they know what's coming they know people are waking up and they know that give it a few more months and people are going to be as savage as what we were 18 months ago when they realised what's been done to them. They're slowly coming out of this somnambulistic dream state that they've been in for a couple of years listening to the box and I'm, I'm living the results the same as most of us had to go for the bloody results of it losing our jobs and what have you in 2020. But a lot of people are suffering now because of the lawyers the government's come out with and the government knows this and it wants to stop the public from protesting. That's my belief. So that's why it's brought it in. It's about these extinction rebellion lot. On the same subject, Oxford, about the 20 minute cities, 15 minute cities, I think this is a good thing. You've got to protest about this because it's about Oxford. It's about your town, my town, every town. I'm hell bent on this. You can see they, they want to go. They ain't really consulted yet. They paid lip service to consult it, yeah, but they don't care. They, they want to push it through, and it's got to be resisted because that's the thin end of the wedge. So um, the problem you got with that is, I think most reasonable people uh, don't want to see pollution and unnecessary damage to the environment. That's just common sense. But there's sensible ways of dealing with it. And what the government are doing is nothing to do with the CO2. It's nothing to do with the environment. And I couldn't give a toss about it. It's about control. But you'll get some people who are, let's call them brainwashed, because I think they are, do think all these 15-minute cities and whatever, yeah, and throughout the environment. Now, they could be paid by the state, I don't know, we've, we've, we've seen it, it looks like the theatre to me, you've seen the protests that they've done before, they don't seem sincere, um, some of them am, obviously, but I think the, the ringleaders and the, the people who dragged these protests along, I don't think they're sincere, I think they're antagonists, agent provocateurs, something like that, and if they turn up in Oxford at the same time as us lot, who's got legitimate peaceful protest to do. And that might take this is my concern, I know something's gonna happen. I'm just saying be aware because they'll try and say 
um, you you team full of that lot there, you're against the environment and we're not. We say nothing to do with the environment, it's everything to do about control, but that's the way it'll be twisted. Now if you do get uh, argy bargy, if you do get a bit of hassle, then that's all the excuse the police want to shut it down then and everyone after that. And as I am already changing the law to, to make sure they can, which is something um, we shouldn't put up with. You know, it's a um, peaceful, legitimate protest when you have got um, genuine concerns about things that have been done that impinge the quality of your life. You've got every, every right to speak out within reason as long as you don't cause criminal damage and, and, and things along them lines. So that's it then, that's all I wanted to say today. I'm going to get a drink now, because I, I really am spitting feathers, honestly. <coughs> Throat's like sandpaper. Um, so, yeah, Milton Keynes, Mark Devlin speaking. You know all about how it's going to be funded. We ain't making anything out of it. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, it's the 4th of March, about 11 till 4 during the day. It's... Um, the, the, the cocking, I think the place is called, or the something like that. But the, the details will all be here. And it, for some reason, there's any problems, get to Fair Play now. You know, I think most here already subscribed to Tim at Fair Play now, or Martin, and Marty Bucko. They've done videos telling you all the details previously, and they'll probably do some tonight. Because I say, Tim only sent me an email when I was just about to leave work at tea time, telling me that he managed to get Mark Devlin to come and uh, do a speech for us. So, yeah, that's it then. All right, for tonight. God bless.